Welcome to Chabada YouTube, everybody. This is Josh Durkin, Rev Yeshua. I'm here to teach you guys about, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's this thing right here. I just got a flyer. It's called Living Mashiach Torah Portion Shalach. So I'm just going to, and uh, this is, this is what it is so far. Mashiach. Getting out of prison. A person who is freed from prison must thank Hashem. And in the time of the Beis Amikdash, Holy Temple, must bring a sacrifice of thanks. How much more so will we bring a sacrifice of thanks to God in the third Beis Amikdash when the entire Jewish people is freed from prison of exile this is from the Rebbe King Mashiach Shlita Shlach 57 51 so why do they say that the Rebbe is alive if he passed away in 1994 physically it's because Tzadikim never died uh states so clearly in Tanya that a tzaddik lives forever. In fact, wicked people this day, even though you see them as alive, because they're so wicked, they're not really alive. Okay, this is an insight, caring, and unity. It's about Ahavaz Yisrael. One of my main themes I've been teaching on my Zoom share. So, in this week's Torah portion, the leaders of each of the 12 tribes were sent to tour the land of Israel to see its special good qualities. All 12 leaders toured the entire land, not just their own tribe's portion. This is because of the command to love your fellow Jew like yourself. All the Jewish people are interconnected. We are like one complete body. The unity emphasized in each leader touring all the parts of the land makes the work of refining the earth be done on a higher level. The level of unity which transcends division. And this level itself is drawn down and permeates the level of division. We should all think about what our fellow Jews need. And help them both spiritually and physically. So this is what the Lubavitcher Rebbe King Mashiach Shlita says in Parsha Shalach 5791. 1991. Of that year... I believe it was said, uh, I will show you wonders. See, it was a year there was a lot of, a lot of emuna, a lot of belief that Mashiach was going to be revealed literally that year. In the, in the final stages. I mean, don't get me wrong, we are getting a lot closer. Guidance. Help the place where you are. So this is from the Agris Kodesh. English Codus is a book that people write to the Rebbe back in the days. Obviously, it was originally that people would write to the Rebbe and he would respond back to them on advice on what they should do. Nowadays, after Gimel Tammuz, the third day of the month of Tammuz, since the Rebbe's physical passing, people write in the, in the book. And since the Rebbe isn't dead and actually still alive, you, you people still get answers. Relevant to the question they're asking. So in response to someone who asked if he should go now to the land of Israel. In my opinion, since you are in a country that recently several God-fearing people came there recently. In addition to those who lived there before. And since no one knows clearly the higher intention in a person being in a certain place. Because the steps of man are led only by God. So you should not abandon your place. And you should influence your surroundings in the appropriate way to strengthen them in Torah mitzvahs. And warm them up with Jewish warmth. And God, blessed be he, shall give you long and good life to illuminate your surroundings. And with adding in candle is a... Is a 
is a mitzvah and Torah is light. So you should add in lights, you should add in Torah mitzvahs, and that illuminates the world around you. And the luminary of the Torah, which is the teachings of Hasidus and its ways and customs. Even for one good action, it's known what is written in chapter chapter 25, Herak Chavhe, that when doing a mitzvah, whichever one, which in doing a mitzvah, whichever one it is, above it is something that lasts forever and ever. And it is also known, the saying of the Baal Shem Tev, that we heard many times from my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, that a soul descends below and it is enclosed several decades in a Jewish body in order to do a favor for a Jew physically or spiritually. It's a well-known thing of the Baal Shem Tev, that our soul, that our neshama, our soul, descends into a body, and it can wait up to seventy years just to do a favor for another person. So this is adapted from a letter of the Rebbe, King Mashiach Chlita Igris Coders, Volume Seven, Page One Hundred and Fifty Nine. Practical Ju Judaism, unity in Torah and tzedakah. Yeah, this is for Aaron, I guess. Aaron Novi loves this. Talking to people about Sadaka. Rabbi Boaz likes to do that as well. Give Sadaka on behalf of others. There are those who are very wealthy and give Sadaka on behalf of the Jewish people. One or a few cents on behalf of each Jew. Many more people should follow their example. You know, I go to 770 and I dive in the Rebbe's Minion. Well, I did it many years ago, or even last year. It, yeah, last year before I came here in Colorado. And there's a Jew for many, many, many years. Every Rebbe's minion, he has a whole stack of nickels. And people go up to him before davening, and, and he gives them a nickel in order for them to give tzedakah before davening. So he may only give a nickel, but if you count the thousands of Jews that he's giving a nickel to every day, that's a lot of tzedakah. And he gets the merit of giving to give to others so they can give as well. This is what it's talking about, I believe. Very special. It's a very special level of tzedakah. Learn Torah with others. Teach many students. Teach all students. See, that's like a spiritual tzedakah. The rabbis that are going out of their way and teaching another people, another person Torah and Hasidus, Torah mitzvahs and the like, they're giving you spiritual tzedakah. Study the daily section of the Rambams. Rabbi, Rab, Rabbi Maimonides' book of Jewish law according to the cycle that you learn. Why does it say according to the cycle that you learn? Because people are on different levels. Some people are really beginners and don't have a lot of time or whatever excuse it is that they have. And they learn for like a minute of Rambam, say for mitzvahs. Then there are people that have a lot of time and and do three chapters of Rambam a day. But then the reason someone would do one chapter over three is they don't have a lot of time. Or maybe they want to really go through that one chapter and be a master over that one chapter. So it's better to do one thing and be a master over than to do than to do it not so great and quickly strum through the three chapters. I don't know, it depends on what you hold by. Ask your Mashpia, your rabbi, and he'll tell you what you should do according to your level. And the and the last thing he says here is spread the wellsprings of Hasidus outward. Hasidus is the esoteric hidden part of the Torah, which unites the hidden aspect of the Jewish people to the hidden alright I just repeated myself it's the hidden aspect of the Jewish people to the hidden aspect of God uh, let me just do this over again my bad see I have this flyer and I lost the other part of it somehow I can't find that exact email everything was organized so I could read it or it's not such a pain in the neck to read it I have to scroll and zoom, and it's like, ugh. 
but the article is great. Spread the wellsprings of Hasidus outward. Hasidus is the esoteric hidden part of the Torah, which unites the hidden aspect of the Jewish people to the hidden aspect of God. Hasidus teaches us to know God, bring the time of the ultimate knowledge of God in the redemption. See the talk of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, King Mashiach, Shlitzah, Shalach, 57, 51, 1991. Then it says right here, Lule Nishmas Rachel Basara, Yehudis Bas Rachel, Reuven Ben Esther, Rachel Bas Miriam, Shlomo Ben Rachel, Yitzchak Ben Rachel, Eliyahu Ben Frida, Rafua Shlema for Chaya Sara Basara Mashiach. Now, may everybody have a good Shabbos.